In this video, let us talk about some applications of parabolas. For example, one nice application is the one that gives maximum revenue, as if we can make the revenue to be a quadratic function, then we can easily find the maximum by finding the vertex. So, sometimes the demand equation is given. For example, in this problem, it is given. Of course, in the real life situation, it will not be given to us. However, if we have a couple of sales figures, for example, if we know the price of a certain product and we know how many products we sold at that price, then if we have a couple of them, we can actually make points out of them. Notice the x in this problem is the number of items, or sometimes it's the number of hours that we charge per hour, for example. And the Y would be the price of the product or the, the pay per hour or however your business is set up. So a little bit later we're actually going to explore this situation when it's a realistic scenario where we actually have to figure out what the demand equation is. So in our problem the revenue is very simple to get. It's actually X, the number of items or number of hours times the price per product or per hour. That way we get the total revenue. So if the price is variable, sometimes it's a good idea to have a variable price for us uh, because if we have a set price then we can only sell so many items for example. But if let's say we put it on sale, we put the product so we can sell more, or we, if we want to increase the price for whatever reason, we can also sell uh, a different number of products. So that's what the demand equation measures, is how many items we sell at a certain price. So if we have the demand equation, which is right here, we can simply multiply it by x, number of items, and that's how come we get a quadratic equation right here, which is negative 4x squared plus 200x. So for us, a would be negative 4, b would be 200. So we can easily find the x of the vertex, which we'll call it x of the maximum, which happens to be 25 units. And we can easily solve for maximum revenue by plugging in the x into the original equation right here and we figure out that the price is $2,500. Which is sometimes also good to know that way you know how much, what's the maximum you can make by selling a product at a certain price. And to find the optimal price, which is a great question to ask, what is this price that will give us maximum revenue? Well, it depends on what the demand equation is, but in our case, we can eat we can easily figure out, and actually there are a couple of ways to figure out the price. One is, we call the original price equation, that's the demand equation. Once you figure out the max x of the maximum, we can plug it in, and we can figure out what the price is, the optimal price. Or, this is even easier a little bit, if we recall that the revenue equals to x times p. So if we know the maximum revenue and we know x of the maximum, we can plug both in to figure out what that optimal price is. And that's exactly what we do here, which is 2500, that's the maximum revenue, equals to 25, that was the x of the maximum, times p. So we can divide 2500 by 25, and that's how come we get our price, the magic number. Uh, and it is a hundred dollars.